Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for 1221. Happy winter solstice. Happy full moon energies. Happy transformation. A happy new beginning. I've had this deck, I've had this deck for a couple months, but I've been saving it. I don't know why. The Cosmic Tarot. I've also had the another deck that you guys have all seen a lot. I haven't used it yet. It's that Tarot Vila Nuit or Vila Night or whatever you want to call it. I've had that one for a while too, probably three months. Two months maybe. Daily energy for 1221, all signs. What do we have? It's a time of change. Endings bring new beginnings. Today I saw an owl. It's really funny. I'm going to tell you this, really, this story real quick. I had this in my in my, all my readings. I've, I've had this sitting over here. Many of you have seen it. Many of you may have not. You've seen it, okay? Today I decided this morning when I got up to do my singles readings for the signs, I did the singles segment for the week of January, if you want to go look at that, I decided to take it. First I decided to put him right here and he didn't He didn't stay up. Same deal, same thing, kept on falling over. So I tried to put him over here and it didn't look good because, you know, whatever. So then I, then I set him over here and he fell over, he fell over. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I just set him over there and left him over there. So... What happens when I do these readings, it drains me. It drains my energy. I'm just going to tell you this real quick. It drains my energy. I got to take a nap. I feel like I got to take a nap. So I was in taking a nap. I was in taking a nap, but I wasn't sleeping. And my dog started barking. My dog started barking. And she's barking. But she's not growling, so it's not like a predator or anything. She's barking. So I'm like, what the hell? She's going to stop barking anymore. I didn't hear anybody drive in. I didn't hear anybody walk up on the porch. I knew that nobody was really here. I was just listening and I couldn't hear any other noise except for the dog kind of like You know, not real loud, but she just kept going for like five or ten minutes. Finally, I was like, well, I guess I better get up because she kept on getting louder and louder and louder. I was like, what the hell is the matter with this dog? I haven't heard anybody. <clears throat> so, this was like at two, about two o'clock this afternoon. So I decided to grab my gun, okay, I'm like, well, I guess I'll go out there with the gun. <laughs> and uh, So I'm walking out, and I walk out to the, <coughs> she's standing by the, the window, <coughs> the back window, and she's barking, she's barking, she's barking, she's barking. And I'm like, what the hell, I can't see anything. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, I can't see anything out there. She's still, her hair is standing up. Her hair is standing up. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? You know, am I going to have to shoot somebody or what? You know? So anyway, um, so I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I can't see anything. And uh, then I see it. I see it. It's a, There's an owl in the tree out back. There's an owl. And this owl looks right at me. I mean, we made complete eye ca contact, okay? I'm like, oh my God. So I run to the bedroom to get my phone, to get the camera, to get the camera. I get that baby zoom. I run back. I run back. She's barking. I'm like, oh my God, dog, just please shut up. I got to get a picture of this. She's barking. So I, I quickly put her in the room. I put her in a room and shut the door. I run back with my camera to get a picture. I get it zoomed in and it's like as close as it can be. And it's like, she's looking right at me. She or he, this owl is like, we are like... Really close because I got it zoomed in real good. I went to hit click and gone. I saw I saw the owl fly away. So I'm like, damn, 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 damn. I missed it, missed it. So I'm like, shit. So I uh, I I I text my friend this whole story, whatever. My daughter gets home and we get ready to leave for an appointment. We get ready to leave. We get in the car and I'm telling my daughter about this appointment. And I'm saying, you know, I haven't seen that owl since my mom died. The last time that owl came was right before my mother died. And, uh, but he came on the front tree. 
he came on the front tree, which is literally 25 to 30 feet from my front door. And um, he stayed there for three days. I'm not kidding. When my mother died, he did. He stayed there for three days. Anyway, um, so, so my daughter, we're in the car. We're getting ready to leave, and I'm telling her the story. And I want to show her the tree out back. I'm like, I wanted to show her the tree so we didn't leave. So I'm telling her the story, and then she, she says to me, she says, uh, I wonder, I wonder, um, she said something about the tree out front. She said something, I can't remember what she said. She said something about the tree out front. She looked over and there he was, there he was. So I was like, she said, mom, he's there, he's there. He's on that same branch. I said, oh my God, I got right out of the car. I said, oh my God, and I jumped right out of the car. <laughs> I jumped right out of the car. So I got a video. So if you wanna see the video, go, it's in my videos, you can, you'll see it. Anyway, um, so an owl is a sign of transformation it's a sign of death it's also the ultimate sign of spiritual wisdom and guidance so this it's a message it started with me removing this owl this morning apparently I shouldn't have done that This owl had a message. It's a time of endings and new beginnings. I took him out this morning because we have reached the end. There's no more growth. In a certain situation, it's time to heal. It's time to, it is time to begin again. The new beginning has been delayed. Somebody has lost their vision. They have not seen the opportunities and they have wasted their time in a situation that is unhealthy and has no more growth. And there's a better, more exciting opportunity just waiting for you. It's going to come in with this moon. It's not something that you are going to have to put your guard up against. Go with the flow. This opportunity is an opportunity for you to move in a new direction. Whatever is being released from your life is going to quickly move you. out of this place of stagnation that you have been in. It's gonna head you towards a soulmate connection. True love. A beautiful partnership, a beautiful union. But in order to get this, this <laughs> true love, To unite with the, the love of your life, 
You have to let go of all the unhealthy, unsatisfying things that have held you back from happiness. They have to be removed. The sun reverse. This is perfect for the winter solstice. New seeds are being planted. Or maybe they've been planted and they're going to go through their period. And in the spring, you're going to see the rewards of this release. Somebody is giving up and they're go and they're it's it's like they don't even have a choice. Giving up the fight. Allowing the universe and that you it's like you don't have a choice. I can I feel this. You don't have a choice. The universe is removing the dead wood, the dead skin, the unhealthy situation that has held you back from divine partnership. Somebody has delayed Oh my God, somebody has delayed and sacrificed themselves, sacrificed their own growth, their own happiness, because they lacked strength and courage and confidence and willpower and discipline. There could have been some fears, fears of the unknown here. But we're all meant for wish fulfillment. We're all meant for this extreme happiness. And now we have a unhealthy situation. that has delayed success being released because there's two people that are meant to come together. And the only way that these two people can come together is if something takes place. Somebody's been in an unsatisfying, unrealistic situation. They've been deceptive. They've been lying to themselves. They've caused themselves a lot of emotional discontent. There's been a lot of sadness and despair. Waiting, 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 waiting waiting for something that was never going to lead to victory and success. 
They've been waiting, seriously waiting and waiting. Somebody has been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to arrive that's never coming. Something from the past. And now it's like the universe says it's, it's time to be practical. You are going to be given a new opportunity. This opportunity has been delayed because they've been waiting for you to find the strength to master your emotions. They've been waiting for you to choose your path. But some of you have not. Some of you have been clinging to something that is very, very, very unhealthy. And it's been hindering your growth. Somebody's been living a lie, no doubt. Sacrificing their own happiness. And now it's like, I can't fight anymore. I'm, I can't fight this anymore because it's so unhealthy. We have an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. Somebody is headed towards wish fulfillment with a soulmate. A soulmate. After being very, very sad, feeling alone, being stuck, not wanting to accept the truth, Not finding the discipline and the willpower to let go of this past hurt. To let go of this past relationship. Somebody hasn't been getting prepared. You know, w wasting their time on somebody from the past that... Didn't bring them growth, you know. It was a one-sided situation. And now it's time for this transformation. There's, and the chariot card is a card of transformation. It's reversed. Somebody has been delaying their own transformation. You can't delay it anymore. You can't delay it anymore. Because now you're about to be presented with a new opportunity. A passionate new start in a new direction. After being stuck in limbo for so long. Not wanting to accept the truth. Somebody has a new soulmate connection being brought to them. It's the answer. It's the answer to somebody's prayers. It's a dreamy, dreamy, dreamy connection. It really is. So it looks as though, you know, somebody's life has been upside down for too long. For too long. And now, and now it's time to be practical. It's time to be responsible. It's time to accept responsibility. It's time to head in the direction of, you know... It's time to be grounded. Somebody is getting grounded. They're, they're seeing things more clearly than they have in the past. They've gone through some sort of enlightenment. They're being enlightened through this exciting new opportunity that is being offered to them. Ooh. Somebody has finally accepted the pain. And there's the birth of something new here. There's the birth of something new. A new life. Somebody is about to start a new life. In a new direction. A passionate new direction. Try not to get distracted. It's time to take a new approach. I think that somebody is about to burst into your world and change your life.
somebody who's been in denial and they can't deny it anymore. Ooh, ooh, trying to, clinging to control. Somebody's been trying to control the outcome, trying to control destiny, trying to control fate, trying to control everything. And this is not something you control. You can control. You can't control it anymore. Somebody has wasted their time trying to control an outcome that wasn't meant to be. Somebody from their past. Trying to manifest somebody back into their lives that isn't meant to be. All the while, they have been healing. And they have been growing. And now it's time to finally, finally, finally release that unhealthy situation once and for all. Somebody lost their concentration and they lost their focus trying to control, trying to control, trying to control. Trying to control has caused, like, illness. And now there's just, there's just a need to focus on the new, new, the new adventure that's being presented to you. We have somebody that is about to start a new life. Somebody's going to be cut out. Somebody is going to be cut out. The person that has kept them stuck is about to be cut out. Because all I want is love. Somebody is headed towards love. And they're leaving this sadness and this hurt and this despair and this unhealthy situation behind. It's been delayed long enough and you can't, can't, you can't block it out anymore. Somebody was distracted by the past and this distraction is about to be removed. This distraction that somebody has allowed themselves to be in has blocked the golden opportunity. And all they were doing was hurting themselves. So it looks as though we are going to have a person that is going to release the other person that harmed them, you know, that hurt them, that bullied them, that abused them. The abuse is about to be released. Somebody was dealing with a really angry, hurtful, cold-hearted individual and, and hung on to this cold-hearted individual because of the love that they had for them. But now they're starting to realize that there's no growth. I'm worth more than that. And I'm ready for my new miracle. I'm ready for my new life. So yeah, we have a we have a 
a miracle coming in. Absolutely. The Empress gives birth to a miracle. After it's been delayed for a really long time. Somebody has held on and held on and held on and held on to the past for so long. It's done. It's over. No more. No more. Too much self-doubt. Too much self-loathing. Refusing to wake up. No more. It's over. It's over. Time to speak the truth. Time to accept the truth. Time to deal with this conflict. Somebody is going to receive a message. It's going to be a conflicting message, but it is going to help them move in the new direction. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom waiting for this person to come around, whoever it was. And now they've come to the point where they realize that they have a better opportunity and the universe is bringing them a better opportunity. There's no doubt. Letting go of the past hurts. The past it, the, the, I mean, it's, it's being released. The past is being released. There's no reconciliation here. There's no more chances left. I accept the truth. Somebody is about to head in a new direction towards somebody that is much, much better suited for them. After holding on to something that didn't serve them for too long, the universe, this new moon, full moon, full moon, is going to clear out that old, unhealthy situation. So yeah, it feels as though somebody is about to make a practical decision and head in a new direction. And as soon as they do, they are going to head right into wish fulfillment with a new partnership. Somebody is, is making a cut. They're accepting the truth. They're speaking the truth. They're letting go of the past hurts. They're letting go of the need to control. They're letting go of the control after holding on to the control for so long. Taking back control. I will not let this have power over me anymore. Releasing a toxic situation. A toxic situation is being let go. Some sort of habit, some sort of addiction, some sort of partnership that was toxic, whatever it is, is being let go. And it's being let go because it's no longer realistic. It's no longer feasible. It's no longer practical. And you know that you have a better opportunity. Somebody has come to the realization that they have a better opportunity. And it's time to let go of those past hurts. And as soon as they come to that realization, here it is. So it looks as though today is a day of receiving some sort of information, whether it's in a, a download from above 
or a message from somebody you know or it could be anything some sort of message that pushes you in a new direction out out of the past hurts out of the the stagnation that you have been in and right into receiving some sort of reward new life So yeah, you might receive, and then, you know, once you make this cut, you may receive some sort of message from somebody that is much, much, much better suited for you, you know, that they want to take you out, that they want to, they want you to come visit them, they, whatever, they want, they want, you know, they have their eye on you, somebody has their eye on you, you're going to receive some sort of exciting message that, you know, I can help you heal. What can I do for you? I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here to help you build your strength back up. Somebody is going to come in to help you. Somebody is letting go of the control after holding on to it for so long. They're letting go of the past and they're moving in a new direction towards a brand new life. Somebody's finding the courage that they lacked for so long. Letting go of the past hurts. I mean, that's, that's all this is. Headed right towards wish fulfillment. Somebody is realizing, somebody is absolutely realizing that wherever they're at, it's not stable, it's not secure. The only reason they're there is for the money. The only reason they're there is, is for the, uh, you know, financial gain, that's it. And they're realizing that that's not, that's not what it's about. It's about love. I want love. I want love. Somebody is headed towards love. After staying in a situation that is dead, been dead. So, yeah, there's a transformation on the horizon. leader you are a beacon for others I never did zoom that in did I god damn it sorry wise leader you are a leader you carry a wisdom and radiance that inspires others even if you're not always aware of the depth of wisdom within you, it's emerging by leaps and bounds. This is time to step into your power and take your role of leadership. You're ready. Grab the reins. Make decisions. It's okay if you're not 100% sure. Make decisions anyway. It's what a leader does. <sighs> On the journey, it's easy to tell who the leaders are. They have an inner grace and strength that glows from within. Others travel on the pathways that the leaders have created. The wise leader holds up a flame as a torch for others in the darkest night. But the leader also listens to the beat of their own drum. Grab the reins of life on your terms. Don't live to please and appease others to the detriment of your own needs. This is not what a leader does. Live without regrets. And that 
is what this is about. Somebody is about to let go of a situation that has held them back. Because it's time. It's time to live without regrets, to take the lead, to be the boss, to bring success to your life, to light the way for others. Do not live to please and appease others to the detriment of your own needs. And that is where somebody has been. And that time is up. I'm done. Goodbye. The end. And right around the corner, right around the corner, is true love. Say hello. Say hello to the one you love. So yeah, for those of you that are accepting, taking the lead, accepting the pain, you have a major new beginning here. Congratulations.